Let's go drifting on console. If you know me, you know I love going sideways. I love a bit of drifting. And this is Drift TE. This is a fully licensed drifting game on console. It's got licensed cars, licensed tracks. It's available on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. I th I'm guessing Drift CE stands for Drift Console Edition because it's the console version of Drift 21. I cannot wait to get stuck in. Thank you so much to 505 Games for sponsoring this video. And there's a link below if you want to go check out Drift CE. But first, let's get into it. Right, here we go. We're in the game. I can use a steering wheel or a controller to do this. So we're going to use both. I'm going to start with my steering wheel Logitech Direct Drive Wheel. And I think we'll go into sandbox build the best drift cars i wasn't expecting to be able to build cars in here but okay let's see this with no cash limit so i guess it's just sort of like a go go absolutely crazy let's see what we can build this is interesting if we can have licensed cars okay we're in the garage or the garage gosh one of those was pronounced very badly but i just don't know it's personal preference isn't it right radial menu uh show missing parts walk i think i need the controller for this one so we're going to get the dual sense uh, up and running right now. Oh, okay. So I thought this was like a static image like you get in Grand, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Right. So where do we want to go over? This is me exploring. Trying to see. Show missing. Ah, missing parts. Ah, okay. So there's something going on here. Oh, find appropriate part X. This is the ah engine so i do want to want a rotary or do i want and i've got to go rotary right we're going to build a mazda rx7 basically i, I hope the mazda rx7 is licensed in this game <laughs> so let's see we're going to go sport obviously stage three nice okay oh do i want to put that on mount it yes uh oh wow i'm going to build the whole car off this no way i was not expecting this at all so what comes off? So is this... I mean, that's not the whole rotary engine. That's just a housing, isn't it? So let's do the bit in the middle. Uh, find appropriate part. That's the gear. So this is what's going to come out of the engine. Down, do the drive shaft, maybe. Uh, let's mount it. Mount it, mount it, please. There we go. Mounted. Yes, yeah, so that's a drive shaft. Let's finish building this engine, though, though. Because I imagine the engine comes out the front or something. Uh, what's this? That's an oil filter, so we'll put that on, and that's mounted now. And what's this? Regulator, okay. This is quite um, detailed, isn't it? I think a lot of people who love tuning are really going to like this. Okay, so we're going to find a part here. Eccentric, let's go for a four shaft rotor, or a four rotor shaft. Got to get these things right. Coming out the rotary. Why have I built built a rotary here? Okay, ah, is this the actual engine now? No, this is combustion chamber. Okay, so we're getting closer. So we got blue, matte blue. I think we got to go orange, sport, or red sport. Yes. Here we go. So again, we've got more there. Mount it. And then, ah, so this is the actual bit, right, of the rotary engine. Sweet. So what did so this is a rotor? I'm actually building a rotary engine. I'm not going to say the 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 name of it because I'll get demonetized. I'll get it wrong. But there we go. And then now we that we've got the rotor in there. Now this is the other part of the housing. Yes. There we go. So that's our engine. Nice. Mount it. Oh, there's something else as well. Double engine. What does a rotary have two bits like this? I never knew this. So we've got red one there. Let's go orange now. Oh no, matte black. Matte. Where's matte black? Uh, okay, we're gonna go matte. We're gonna go black sport. Here we go. Like that. Oh wow! And then we're gonna. That's mounted. We're gonna add another rotary in there. Double rotary. Is this like a W16 engine? Okay. Get that map. What? Can I just keep? Am I doing this to? Oh, because it's a four. It's a four. Oh my word! That I did. I did not know this is how rotaries works. But okay. So we're gonna put that in, and then we're gonna put a blue one in, and then we're gonna put another rotary on the inside, and then we've got four, right? If I've counted correctly. Oh no, I haven't counted correctly. Have I? No, this is the front. 
Okay. So that. No, there's one more. What? Green. I can't count. How? If I can't count, how am I going to build a car? There we go. And here is the front. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Mounted. Oh, okay. Now it's looking like an engine. So these are the exhaust. Yep. So uh, this one has a turbo on it. So I think. So we're going to, yeah, get... Oh, there's that a turbo mount at the top to to get a t uh, turbo. Yes. So which one do we want? Turbocharger. Type 1, type 2. I'm going to go this one because it's mic.eu. So we're going to go there. So that's turboed. And then... We're, can you do turbo on the other side or not? No, just one turbo. Just the one turbo. And then that is... The exhaust for the turbo. Okay. Uh, let's keep going around this way. So what's this? This is the intake manifold. That's just... Gets the air in there, right? Well, hang on. Was that connected to the turbo? Where does it go through turbo? So hang on. What's coming up? So turbo is taking... Oh, hang on. So it goes in there. Exhaust manifold. Turbo air filter. So this is the intake for the turbo, right? That's the turbo done from the front. Ooh. Oh no, I dropped it. <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, so that's the turbo done from the front. So turbo, 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 air comes in. That's the exhaust from the turbo. And then it goes in there, right? On the bottom. Okay. So again, that's just exhaust from the turbo. Put that there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Ah, what's the, ah, is that? Ah, that's the connector, right? Is that the connector from the turbo to the engine? Wastegate. Okay, put that on there. Uh, what do we got on the front? Water pump. Wow, engines are complicated. Uh, that's going to be water intake, maybe. Radiator hose. Um, oh, we get one from a Mazda RX-7, yeah, because that's the inspiration that we took to build this. And then, what have we got here? This is the upper radiator hose, okay. This is a beastly engine. I think I might be creating a little bit of a monster here. So what's on the top here? Just cover this one off. That is the fuel rail, injecting the fuel into those four compartments, right? So we've got down, 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 and down. This is a bearing that just goes around the drive shaft, right? Uh, what's this? Oil pump. Okay, oil pumps in there. Something else around there. Oh, another thing for the bearing. Does it want something else in there? It might want something else in there. No. Then at the bottom, oil pan. Okay, if any oil comes loose. Then we've got alternator. What's alternator do? Charge the battery. This is just a little generator, right? Wow, I'm learning quite a lot here. Um, just something red in there, but I can't quite see what it is. This is blow off. We'll use that. And then, interesting, there were two options there to use a filter straight away or go into a valve. So we've got the valve. Then these are four of these, one for each of the... Oh, well, two for each of the combustion changer. Ignition, obviously very important. So two ignition cools, okay. Is this... By the way, let me know in the comments if this is, like, actually accurate. Because I know so many of you have insane car knowledge, and it's very, very, very impressive. And this is the first time I've actually... Can, it's very helpful for me to see it like this, to be honest. So the are these spark plugs? Yes, I got something right. I got something right. So we can put our spark plugs in. Oh, some ah, and then the spark plugs connect. Okay, and another one. Okay, sweet. So, but what is that thing there? Is it anything else? Was that just red for the sake of it? Or what the stuff? Ah, okay. Mounting bolts. Is that all good? Is that all good? Oh, what are they? Ah. Are these just bolts? Okay, we've got to do mounting bolt. Oh, they go all the ah, they go all the way through the engine, don't they? 
Okay, maybe I need to unmount this. And put the bit on the inside first. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ah, okay, 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 I did it. Now the counterweight. And now the pump gear. Oh, it's like the car is building itself. Chain. I always find this weird with engines, like you, you comes out and you have so many chains and cogs, but it doesn't lose any, like, there's no slippage. There's no, like, um, torque loss or power loss. Well, let's cover up the front of the engine. Look at this. Now we're going to at some point get the whole drive shaft, right? Crank shaft. Like, already look how many belts and pulleys we have. Isn't it absolutely insane that these exist? Uh, right. I mean, that looks pretty much like an engine to me. So, oh, no. <laughs> I'd, I'd, <laughs> I hadn't bolted the whole engine on. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Okay, and that reveals this. So we get the flywheel. And get a nice clutch. So when are we going to get the gearbox? This is the clutch. Performance pressure plate. So that's all done there. Okay, so we built our engine. I presume we can now put it in a car. So if I go to garage, if I hold this... Uh, circle button there we go garage challenges choose a new car choose a new car are you sure you want to go to the shop yes okay we just built an absolutely beastly engine i'm sure but let's see what we got in the shop so we want to get our mazda rx7 here using the shoulder buttons nice look at this rx7 rx8 i think we want to go rx7 yeah, oh yeah, let's keep it RX-7. So, and the colour... I actually like it in the red. Red's my favourite. So we'll take that. I wonder if that was going to pop back in the garage now. This would be crazy. I have no idea. But let's see if it pops back in the garage. That would make sense. Oh, we're in the garage! And there's my engine! Okay. Okay, okay. So what can we do if I hold the radio menu? So we can get rid of the things. Warehouse. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we can click stuff here. Ooh. Drift setup. Okay. Okay, so we're going to mod the car itself. Let's see. Ah, oh, I can install our end. <gasps> Okay, how do we get this into here? How do we get this into here? Subframe. How on earth do we do this? Come on, come on. I've got to work out a way. Open warehouse. Move engine to RX-7! Okay, let's just see what it's like. Oh, we'll add an intercooler. Where, does inter where can the intercooler go? <laughs> Maybe we need to add the intercooler in there. Maybe I took a different thing. We'll just throw it that way. There we go. Um, okay, so... Blah, blah, blah. Engine parameters. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, let's... Uh, engine... Move the engine to our car. <gasps> it's in the car! It's in the car! Yes! Look at this! Look at this. Is there any way that we can get our intercooler in there? Can we get... Hang on. It's under... Can we get the car onto here? Move car to... Ah, okay. It's on the lift. It's on the lift. So we can open that. Then. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Put that head back down. Uh, and car menu... Ram yes! Put it on the dyno. Look at that red one. How much... Pa 800... Peaks at 800 horsepower, pretty much. Wow. Okay, and that's nothing with the gearing. So, 
So, so, so, yes. Okay. Right, let's paint it first. Okay, cool. Back to the garage, yes. But now we're going to go... Now we're actually going to race it or drive it. Let's start at Driftlang. Driftlang? Driftland. And we're going to start on the wheel. Okay. I wasn't expecting to... A, do all that and a, B, get into it. But we've done it. So I'm on my wheel. Nice. Okay. Let's see what we have here. So... That is handbrake. Pops and bangs, I think. Oh. So down it back button is to reset it. And up button is to all the camera angles. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> I'm already spinning. I'm already spinning. Let me move my mic a little bit uh, better position for us there. There we go. Because my hands are going to be everywhere. So this is handbrake, right? Yeah. Whoa. <sighs> wow, it is so talky. We basically built an absolute beast. So it looks like something comes up there for doing a donut. Trying to get that. See if I can actually do a donut. Hang on. Right, here we go in the Subaru BRZ. Let's see if we can drift it. Oh, look at the wheel spin. <laughs> <gasps> Look how much I'm working the wheel here. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh no, we've got around, we've got around, we've got to neutral. <laughs> we're going to go for a jump. <laughs> okay, we were actually drifting though. I think this is a much better car than the one we built. Oh dear. Okay, go around the wheel. Donut? Okay, that was the finish line. Did we pass the challenge? Silver cup! What? We actually did it! Okay. Select the controller here, yes. And then reset the car to get the camera angle. I've got my... Oh, it's automatic gears. Oh, might be... Okay, we're going this way. X is a handbrake. I feel like this is a little bit easier on a uh, controller. It might be because the automatic gears, I don't know. I'll put my controller out so you can see what I'm doing. Was drifting for a bit. I'm drifting. I'm drifting. I'm not out of the point yet because I'm not. I don't think I'm finishing them. We're going onto the grass. Let's go to the stadium. I reckon the stadium in this... We'll try a different car again. I reckon the stadium on a controller, maybe these auto gears, I think maybe this is when we can we can start to unleash... Un, unleash? Unleash? Unleash our inner drifter. And if you want to unleash the like button and subscribe button, feel free as well. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more drifting. Right, stadium. So we're going to stadium and we're going to go in the... Uh, we're going to go old school. We're going to go in the Sylvia. There we go. Drift ready. Let's do it. 10 years. Sylvia was manufactured up to 2002. Wow. Okay. Here we go in the stadium. Well, we have thousands of people watching us trying to drift. Let's see. They've stayed at home today. 
Whoa, the Sylvia is aggressive. Okay. Wow, look at that lockup. It's quite realistic, isn't it? Okay, that has been the worst start. Okay, now we drift. Yeah, we got some drift points. We locked up, but we got some drift points. 177. Oh, okay. I'm actually looking at the points now. I'm actually looking at the points. That was going to be some decent points. Come on. I saw the moon in the reflection of Marivi, I'm sure. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. We can do it. We can drift this. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, re regroup, regroup. Let's go, let's go. Ah, we'll tap. Thousand points. Oh, my word. Look at that. Bank it, bank it, bank it, bank it. No, we keep going, we keep going. Look at this chain. Look at this chain. Look, no! <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I need to get 2,000 points now again. No, hit the wall. I thought about going a different track there. <laughs> oh, I want to get that 2,000 point drift. Right. Switch backs. Look at the points! Yeah! What? No, I'm too to my point! No! I forgot! I forgot they were still going! I didn't know! Right, we need to get 3,000. We need to get 3,000. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sylvia. Bank it, bank it, bank it, bank it, bank the points, bank the points. Yes, thank you very much. Right, here we go. Let's try and do an actual lap. We start here. I'm getting better now. Oh, look at this. Look at this drift. There we go. We've done a lap. We've done a lap. We've done a massive point thing. Okay, okay, okay. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more Drift CE because I might actually get into this 
and I can I can actually see myself doing this online. Like that is way better than Gran Turismo. It's way better than I remember the Need for Speed games. This is like a dedicated drift game. So yeah, it's quite satisfying. I think it's a bit easier on a controller for me anyway, but yeah, really enjoy that. Thank you so much 505 Games for sponsoring this and giving us the free code. But let me know in the comments if you want to see me do more Drift CE on the channel. And if you do want to buy the game, there's a link in the description. So please go use that if you want to check it out. But otherwise, I will see you. I'll see you next time.